Hi. Hello. I'm Jess. I'm Dave. Nice How are you? Nice to meet you, Dave. Uh, what do you do for a living? I am a comedian. This sounds so wanky. Um, but one, when I did jury duty, my job specifically, they said entertainer, Ooh. which is cool because they read it out in front of 250 people. They're like accountant, superannuation teacher, entertainer, and everyone looks at you like, what a wanker. I have a degree in media and communications. My oh, degree perfection. says um, Bachelor of Arts, brackets, media and communications, new set of brackets, majoring in journalism. Oh, wow. So, lots of brackets. And I love it. And I work in retail. But what, what do you sell? Underwear. I work at Bonds. Do you sell any of these sexy underwear? We have lace. Ooh. But nothing, nothing weird. Nothing weird? Nah. No, like... Any sexy men's underwear? <laughs> we have people ask for G-strings for men. Really? That makes me quite uncomfortable. So whoa. Well, because I have to say... I once made a video um, <laughs> where I uh, wore, this is about four or five years ago, uh, this is how I got into comedy actually making YouTube like a series and in one of the videos, uh, they're all like little challenges, one of them was I uh, <laughs> set myself a challenge to wear G-strings every day for a week um, to uh, pr promote comfort awareness okay. of course. Yep. Did you um, find men's G-strings? Do they? Oh yeah, they exist. Oh, yeah, oh no, they exist, but I didn't think they were that easy to find. I wore them to get my wisdom teeth out. Um, <laughs> So it's like a video of me like in the gown <laughs> and I'm like, and I, I talk about in the video how if, <laughs> yep. if uh, like they do any of that funny stuff where they're like, like why well, you knocked out because uh, they took all four out so I like had a general anaesthetic, like that, that weird shit where they like draw on your body or something yeah. and they're going to be like, why the fuck's this kid wearing a G-string? <laughs> What's it? That. And but the weirdest thing that's come out of that video was my most watched one because for a while, uh, if you type G-string men into YouTube, it was the number one video that came up. And had all these <laughs> older men contacting me saying, I love your video. Well, it was really, really creepy. And then this kid, kid, messages me privately on YouTube and says, hey, I really want to try out wearing G-strings for men. However, I'm too embarrassed to ask my mum to buy them for me. I'm only 15, so can you mail them to me? A 15-year-old can go to a shop. Yes, I know, but the kid, uh, he, uh, I think it was nah. obviously an old man wanting yep. the G-strings. And um, pro preferably used ones. Preferably used, yeah, oh. yeah, yeah. So I sent one to him. Uh, why the hell not? <laughs> of course. For com committee purposes, and I never Defense. heard back. Never heard back. No, do you have an interesting middle name? No, it's my mum's name. It's Anne. <laughs> I don't know why I laughed at that. Because it's so boring. <laughs> it's fine. It's a fine name. It's fine. Mine is James, which is also equally boring. Yeah, Dave, David James. What is your full name backwards? Uh, Snickrup. <laughs> that's good. <laughs> and uh, Akisedge. Aki, that's very good. Yours? Ekenraw Semaj Divad. So. Oh, yours is so much better. Are you scared of anything? Like, do you have oh, irrational God, things? Oh, Everything? Yes. Oh, I'm terrified Animals of or heights or... Uh, growing up, uh, being kidnapped was the number one fear. Yes, after obviously. watching... Obviously. After, obviously, after being the small child I spoke about at the start. <laughs> um, I watched an episode of The Bill with my parents, which I used to watch every Saturday, yeah. sa Tuesday and Saturday night. Growing up, now my fear is being beaten up and robbed. Sure. Cool. And I'm also scared of uh, being burnt alive, uh, being frozen alive, <laughs> being... Uh, Starved to death, um, being tortured, <laughs> scared of that. Cockroaches, not into those. I saw one on my toothbrush holder last night, and that was a harrowing image. Did you just sit I can't the get out. I bought a new toothbrush. Today. Yeah, I did. Oh, oh I would have moved. I would have moved. Oh, it's awful. Gross. I, it's awful. I'm. Um, you scared of things? I'm getting better, but I until recently was scared of moths. Really? They're unpredictable. They're sort of they're flapping around, and they're like. <laughs> that's my moth impression, by the way. Did you play any sports? <laughs> I also attract flies. I'm not sure if that's a <laughs> I'm scared thing. of those, so. Oh, good. Great. Good. It's gone. Did I play sport? Yeah. I did play, I, I did a lot of sports. I did one free taekwondo lesson. <laughs> oh, that was good. What we're really good about that was um, our, uh, the leader was called a guy called Sensei Neil. <laughs> Some English bloke, <laughs> some English bloke had to be like and bow to Sensei Neil. It was very uh, Sensei Neil. It, it felt very uncultured. Anyway, <laughs> yeah. um, I did swimming for a bit, even though I, that didn't help with bad, the bad swimming. And I played a bit of tennis. Yeah, I was going to say you look like a tennis or a cricket kid. Oh, why would you say that? I don't know. I'm just, a, I don't know, scrawny. Okay, great. Thank you. You're like not rugby, you know. How do you think? Uh, how do you think this date has gone? Would you? Pretty good. Yeah. Pretty good. Okay. It was a bit weird that you had an iPad full of questions. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie about that. I like to be thorough with my dates. Great. How about yourself? Feedback. Uh, Come and hit me. Well, I look 
Good. Okay, good. Good. Um, this sounds bad. But point is, I, I need something. I'm going overseas. When? Tomorrow. Where are you going? Europe. I am also going to Europe tomorrow. Weird. Where are you going? Ah, uh, where are you going? I'd like you to answer first. London first. Great, because London is my second stop. Cool, meet you there. Yep, great, I'll be there. Good. I'll be there.